This is Cumix FX, an extremely powerful digital mixer disguised as your Motu audio interface. You may have already noticed the tabs at the top of the window. The Inputs tab represents all the analog and digital inputs on your audio interface. This is where you'll find the controls that affect the incoming signal like trim level. The next tab is the Mixes tab. Here you'll see a familiar mixer panel with faders, pan knobs, and level meters. The inputs flow directly into the channel strips on the Mixes tab. We call it the Mixes tab because you don't have just one mix. Your audio interface gives you the ability to create multiple discrete stereo mixes from the available inputs. Now, once you have your mixes set up, you need to send them somewhere. Each mix is freely assignable to any stereo output. The Outputs tab collects all the settings for every output on a single page. So now that you have a better idea of the basic signal flow, let's look more in depth at what you can do with QMix. Let's go back to the Inputs tab and look at an input strip in detail. When the phase switch is lit, the phase of the incoming signal is inverted. This is handy if you find phase cancellation between multiple sources and need to bring one element into phase with the others. This might be a good time to illustrate some of the handy key commands available in QMix. If you want to do something that affects all channels, hold down the Shift key. For example, I can invert the phase of all channels at once. The Command key, or Control key under Windows, affects pairs of inputs. The trims differ slightly depending on the input. Mic inputs have a broad range of additional gain from zero. Line inputs provide both positive and negative gain to accommodate a wide range of sources. Digital inputs have a smaller range of additional gain. After you've set your gain and phase, one of the most common things you may want to do is apply EQ to the signal. QMix provides a full 7-band EQ, but you can enable only the bands you need. All the processing power for mixing, EQ, dynamics, and reverb comes from the DSP inside the audio interface, so you're mixing with no latency and not taxing the processor inside your computer. Looking at the QMix interface, we see an EQ graph on each input strip with some knobs down below. Each knob is color-coded for the band it represents. The first thing we need to do is click the EQ Enable button on the channel. This does several things. First, it brings the channel into focus. This means additional parameters displayed in the master section apply to that channel. Secondly, it brings the EQ tab forward. And third, the switch acts as a master enable for the EQ on that channel, so you can quickly compare the EQ'd and non-EQ'd signal. The EQ provides five fully parametric bands, including two bands with high and low shelving filters. In addition, you have a high and low pass filter with adjustable filter slope. A 6 dB per octave filter produces a much more gradual slope than a 36 dB per octave filter. When the channel is in focus, we can use the larger display and knobs in the master section. However, the currently selected band can be edited directly in the channel strip. The Mixes tab is probably where you'll spend the most time. It feels and operates just like a hardware mixer. This is where you can adjust the primary ingredients of a mix, levels, panning, solo, and mute. If we go back to the Inputs page, we can gang together two inputs to create one stereo input. Back on the Mixes page, the Panning knob provides two panning modes to choose from. Width control gradually collapses the stereo image to mono. Balance mode works just like the balance control on your stereo. If any channel is soloed, the main solo light will pulse to remind you that there may be soloed channels you can't see. Now let's add a dynamics processor to an output pair. Keep in mind we can do the same thing to inputs. First, 
click the Dynamics Enable button. The Output pair comes into focus and the Dynamics tab is brought to the front. Here we see two types of Dynamics processing. Although Dynamics is enabled, we still need to select which Dynamics processor we want. Compressor allows traditional Dynamics processing with adjustable threshold, ratio, attack, release, and trim. Leveler is a model of the classic LA-2A compressor. One or both of these processors can be active on a given input or output. This allows you to, for example, use a compressor and limiter in series. The talk and listen buttons predominate the monitor panel. If you want to use talkback and listenback, first you must configure the input source. To do this, put the input that you wish to use in focus and navigate to the channel tab. There you can designate an input as the talkback or listenback input. Then on the outputs tab, you can tick the output pairs that talkback and listenback are routed to. That's all there is to it. Click the talk or listen button in the monitor section to use talkback and listenback. Cumix FX allows you to plug powered monitors directly into your audio interface and control their level with the built-in monitor control. While the mix bus arrangement of Cumix FX is strictly stereo only, your DAW may be used to create surround mixes, and Cumix allows you to control multiple outputs with a monitor level for surround monitoring. The quad, 5.1, and 7.1 presets should cover most situations, but any combination of output pairs can be enabled, even every output on your audio interface. While individual EQ and compression can be applied to multiple inputs and outputs, there is one global reverb available. You can send audio to the reverb using sends from the inputs, mix bus, and outputs. Let's say you wanted to add some reverb to an input and return it to a specific mix. Click the Inputs tab, and you can use the Verb Send knob to send to the reverb. Now go to the mix you want to return the reverb on and adjust the reverb return on the master fader for that mix. Make sure the split point is set to Mixes to enable the return knob. If you want to put reverb on an entire mix, simply adjust the send from that mix. Set the reverb split point to outputs. Then, on the outputs tab, adjust the verb return knob on the desired output pair. The meters tab displays signal activity for all inputs, mix buses, and outputs on a single page. There are some subtle changes when you click the pre-post button. Specifically, Motu interfaces equipped with mic input overload protection provide an additional 12 dB headroom on their mic pre-inputs. After they're processed by the overload protection, signals peak at plus zero. This change is reflected in the meter scale on both the meter page and the high resolution meter in the channel display. changes to your mix are reflected in the audio interface hardware. If you unplug the audio interface, it will still function using the settings we just made, and you can edit everything from the front panel. But you can also save your setups for fast and easy recall. To create a new configuration, select Create New from the Configurations menu. Type in your configuration name, and you're all set. To recall this configuration, you can select it from the Configurations menu. That concludes our quick tour of Cumix FX. For more detailed information, consult your owner's manual. But if you get stuck, you can always go to motu.com slash tech support.